So I'm reaching out, y'all know I'm always trying to figure out why, because it made no sense. Like y'all know Kendrick just dropped the new the, the new project or whatever. Drake was already getting dragged for looking like like whatever on that stream. Looking, Drake's been just looking very soft. Like I'm Drake. This is XQC, real streaming legend. Me, I do music. In case you didn't know, I'm here. As you can see, fully intact, mind, body, and soul. In case you were wondering. Right? Mind, body, and soul. Mind, body, and soul. You need facts to take me out. Fairy tales won't do it. Cheers to everybody. I don't know what it is about light skin right now. Maybe because it's the winter and he ain't got no tan. He's just really in his feelings. But he's been looking real crazy. And I felt like to do that back to back to back. The stream. You got new music that's supposed to drop from your artist. Why would you put yourself in that position? So I reached out. Um, and I spoke to someone close to Drake's camp and here's what they told me. The reason why Drake decided to move forward with this lawsuit was because he felt like the the record label, which is supposed to be his record label too, and he makes them a lot of money. Y'all know Drake is a huge artist. He felt like they were using this song and funding money that he helps them make to bury him as an artist. And y'all are probably like, what the hell? Like, Why would a, a record label want to bury somebody that's making the money? So what's been happening behind the scenes is that Drake has actually been in negotiations from what I'm hearing with the label. Uh, he was making or like he had like a deal for like four million or something like that. But he was asking for six now with his deal being over and then renegotiating. So basically, he felt like the label did everything that they could to make Kendrick Lamar's song the biggest song. This is all alleged. The biggest song to basically disvalue him so that now he's at a point where no label is going to want to give him more money than the deal that he just got because he's having a hard time right now. He's not beating the allegations because Kendrick's song and everything that Kendrick did is doing so well. He looks crazy. He doesn't have any new music out. The music that he did try and put out and all that. Remember he put out that big file of all that, um, that, uh, like the videos and all that stuff. It went nowhere. Nothing right now is sticking from him, but this, but drama like this. So from what I was told, aside from a person, you know, close to his camp was that the reason why he put this lawsuit out is because he felt like it was his only way to kind of, it's more about the label and not about Kendrick. Y'all know it's still going to look crazy, so it doesn't matter. But he basically wants the label to understand that he's going to fight. Like he's asking for his, his money. He wants more money than what he was in a deal for prior to. And again, I was told that it was 4 million. Now he's asking for six, but that's not what they're trying to do so they're basically in his opinion and what he's alleging is that the label is trying to corner him well he'll have to sign with them because where else are you going to go if they're not going to give you more money than what we're already offering you and now you can't ask us for more money either he also from what i was told felt away and you guys remember there have been a lot of conversation around the fact that there was supposed to be some like cease and desist or whatever allegedly sent when spotify uh put up the Not Like Us song and all the other streaming platforms too because remember Kendrick used the photo of Drake's house on the map and then there was a whole shooting at the house or whatever. I'm not connecting the two whatsoever but what I'm told is that Drake also brought that up to his label like y'all if I was a Taylor Swift like I'm a big artist I make y'all a ton of money I'm like one of the biggest artists in the world if I was a Taylor Swift y'all would protect me y'all would go to hell and back for me and that's not what's happening. I've asked for my, you know, the the, the address, uh, the location of my house on this map to not be used as the art for this song. Y'all didn't go fight for that. I've asked for more money. Y'all basically trying to stall me out and tell me I'm not worth the more money that I'm making. Y'all, but y'all are literally living off of me as an artist. And from what he's saying at the same time, I'm finding out that you guys are using that money to fund my rival. Like literally my rival act versus just like, you know what I mean? Putting money up on both sides and just letting the culture do what it does. Um, and I'm, you know, I think one of the biggest things is that even in a song, not like us, right? Uh, Kendrick uses the word pedophile. We all know the allegations and all of that stuff or whatever, even though Drake has not come out specifically and responded to a lot of those things directly. We know bro is butthurt. Like you have to be, there's no way you're not upset about that. The whole world, you got kids in freaking fifth grade talking about he's a 69 guy. Like there's no way that you're not going to be upset about that. But he feels like basically the label was supposed to protect him more from stuff like that, especially with another artist on their label who they could have blocked certain things for or from and things like that, but they didn't do it. So this right now, him suing his label is his play and letting them know like, yo, listen, like I'm not going to sit here and take this. Again, there was another conversation behind the scenes that I have been told was not true, um, but there were rumors that Drake was trying to make it where Kendrick could not perform Not Like Us on the Super Bowl stage. Again, I was told by a source close that this was not true, 
But to me, I'm looking at this lawsuit in a timing of it. I'm like, why would you do that? Right? Like, it, it just doesn't look good for him. But if I'm a corporation, if I'm the NFL, this is so messy right now. This lawsuit is so messy. And if the 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 evidence that, you know, Drake's camp is claiming that they have in this lawsuit actually comes out. And that's what's going to happen. Because he's asking in the lawsuit, like, yo, I need a deposition. I want everything to be looked through evidence i want phone calls text messages emails because i want to know because right now he's just suing uh universal music group as a whole he's saying yo i want to like dig deep i want to know everything so that i can number one come up with who exactly i need to be suing what i should be suing them for like what are the crimes and i want it i want everybody to know what's going on also ever so i'm being told that it's, it's not even specifically about kendrick kendrick was just like the backdrop of it all because these these money conversations and negotiations were going on prior to, but then things got real crazy when Not Like Us dropped. So Not Like Us is like the gift that will not stop giving to Kendrick, but it is the fucking, the devil that won't stop haunting for Drake.